Today's episode talks about the story at end plane. This plane was flying in the midst of heavy fog. The plane began losing its balance. On the plane was a man with a little child sitting next to him. The man was so scared, especially during turbulence. The man held on the seat tightly, and the man was so scared and terrified. Every time the plane passed through turbulence he would scream. However, the child sitting next to him was sitting in a very calm manner, as if nothing is going on. He would look out at the window, and look at the man and smile, as if nothing is going on. This continued until the plane finally landed, and hit the runway and everything is good. The man was dying, he looked at the child, and he couldn't believe how cool the little boy was. The man asked the boy, how come you were so calm, while everyone was so scared? The child answered, my father is the pilot lesson he told me before we took off. We will reach our destination without any issues. So I'm no worried, because my dad said this. This story gives us a powerful message. How that little boy trusted his father completely without knowing the risk of his life. He surrendered himself to his father's words. than a surrendered life in the hands of God. When we surrender to God, we simply acknowledge that what we own doesn't belong to us, but it belongs to Him. Mother Veronica was a woman of faith, always strived to live a life of surrender, which was very much visible in her very life. Today, I would like to highlight the five aspects of her life where she surrendered to God's will by letting go of her own aspirations, dreams and passions just for the sake of her beloved Jesus who called her to follow him closely. Self-centeredness to God-centeredness As a young girl, she gave up her fine clothes and accessories to the poor and she dressed in ordinary clothes which displeased her mother. Yet, she surrendered her desire to be beautiful and smart for the sake of the needy. Though she struggled initially, the self-emptying of Christ was her model. As God became the center of her life, she came to realize her nothingness. Uncertainty to Certainty Mother Veronica's life was anchored firmly in hope. She discerned God's word directing her life and held on to it as the absolute reality in her life. When she had to leave the congregation of St. Joseph of the Apparition, where she was loved, accepted and trusted, and joined a new congregation in her adult life, it was not an easy decision. Even just looking for places for her new congregation was a leap into uncertainty. 
but God blessed her surrender and through her uncertainty we her daughters have a certain future in security to security in a search for the place for new congregation when she went out in the cold winter she was ridiculed as a runaway nun nobody respected her and her christmas that year was a lonely one she felt utterly alone but when her mother came to visit her she promised of a better life with much more security but mother veronica just refused the human security and allowed god to guide her and protect her independence to dependence mother veronica belonged to an upper middle class family affluent enough to afford the luxuries of travel the arts music and learning of languages simplicity and poverty were not acceptable to her mother though she was very charitable to the poor however god who wanted sophie for himself stripped her and emptied her so that she could possess him totally and indeed experience that he was all sufficing she valued humility so highly that she kept up a lifelong struggle to grow in this virtue which she said was very much contrary to her protestant upbringing and her english character which made it hard to be dependent yet she willingly surrendered self doubt to self confidence in a search for true faith there were many times she doubted herself she was not sure if her conversion to catholicism would keep the family together she was not sure of the reaction of her brother and her mother yet in all her doubts she embraced catholicism and in her new found faith she was more confident than ever it is with this same confidence that she called off her engagement to the promising naval officer because she was so certain that god was calling her we admire mother veronica for living such an exemplary life she has shown us the way that we fragile as we are can look up to her and draw inspiration for our daily living how beautiful it is to live a life of surrender letting go all that we believe and all that we hold on is it possible for us to surrender yes if mother veronica could do we too can give a try let mother veronica be an inspiration and guide to all our younger generations to seek our identity not outside but within ourselves let's experience god's protection in all that we do all that we have and in all that we are going to accomplish in our life may jesus our master be with us and venerable mother veronica intercede for all of us to live a life of holiness amen